Uh, so draw a sausage. Make a sausage. Why do you draw a sausage for? I said, wait a minute. And then we say, we can draw a pear. So we can draw a nice pear there. So we take in something quite complex and we break it down to very, very simple shapes. And then we can draw a circle for a shield. And then we start drawing arms. Now when you talk about artists drawing sort of horses and zebras, the last thing we want to draw is horses and zebras because they're so complicated with their kind of elbows and knees. I kind of draw them like kind of bendy straws really. It makes life much simpler. And there's the legs there. So we're drawing the kind of very basic shapes. We're not doing any details. Break it down to simple shapes. I normally get somebody to kind of pose as well. That's why I kind of bought a sword and shield. So you get somebody to get the kids to come up to pose, like to act and stuff, you know, get into the mood of it all. Then you start adding a little bit of um, costume. So I say, well, draw a sausage on his head. Is he going to win any fights with a sausage on his head? No, no. No, it looks like he's wearing a bowler hat. Does he look really brave? No, he looks rubbish. So we kind of start drawing all these other bits. And then a massive ostrich feather, because they're very ostentatious looking. These chaps here. I've kind of lost his, uh, he's normally got a sword there, yeah. Six sword on there. So very, very simple shapes. And then we draw, start drawing the eyes. It gets very exciting with the eyes, because with the eyes, that's where you get all your expressions. And we say, well, what kind of expressions is a gladiator going to have? Well, he's very angry. And I say, can we have some angry faces? I mean, can we have some angry faces, please? Have some angry faces. And they go, well, what's going on? And you look at each other's angry faces. What are your eyebrows doing? And we've got any ideas, have some eyebrows here, look. They're going like this. There's some angry eyebrows at that. You'll find your eyebrows going there. But if you're sad, your eyebrows are on the side there. So you can kind of play around with um, all sorts of emotions just by using your, your eyebrows, basically. And also with your mouth. You find the kids will be going, clenching their teeth. So we draw some clenched teeth here. Get some noise. Draw the nostrils. Oh, I'll get in there. <laughs> so shouting out to me as I'm trying to draw. And um, this is the bit they love. I say, now, when you're um, a trainee gladiator, You'll be wearing this thing called a subligaria. Uh, it's basically just like a big nappy, a big pair of pants. So you draw a big pair of pants on them. And uh, this is where you start doing a little bit of detail, because this is where it's all folded in, like that. And then say, so what else do we need? I say, oh, we need some detail on the shield. You can get all sorts of patterns on there. We'll do a very simple one. Stick some arrows in there from his previous battle. And what else do we need? What are we missing? Stripes. Oh, yeah, stripes. Get some stripes in. So this is when we start doing it, we've worked out all the shapes and now we're working out all the details to go in afterwards. And that's all you need to do with these cartoons. I'll get down there and realise I've done his hoof. And stripes there. And then just a few other details like his mane. Which is a bit like a horse's mane but it's a bit more kind of like a bristle brush. Maybe a couple of ears sticking out there. And then if we get time we'll start drawing a little bit of a, an arena for him to sit in. There. Maybe a speech bubble, him saying, oh, I've got a horse. <laughs> now, when you're doing speech bubbles, do the words first. This is the golden rule. And you do your bubble around the kids, it nice and clear for all your friends and families to read. And, um, and then you know where you can start putting like, the audience. Now, when you read like your football comics, you'll look at your crowd and your audience, they're just circles basically. And that's what you do here for the Coliseum as well. So lots of circles, it kind of makes a nice pattern in the background as well. And uh, some sand, they love doing this, they're forever banging their pants around that <laughs> And uh, just to show this is the, the wall, draw a little door on there. And if you get time, stick a skull on the bottom there with an arrow poking at his head. Oh yeah, we yeah, have great, that's a bit <laughs> Stick a sword, stick that there. And that's it, so then that would take about kind of 15 minutes probably. And uh, they'll be drawing along, but I can sort of do that with like even up to sort of 300 kids sometimes, you know, and get a shadow in there as well. But that's it, but it's just breaking down simple shapes. And when you've got, once you've got your character and your speech bubble, you can start adding a bit of background in. It's just to show how simple it is to do something which looks fairly complicated. It's actually very simple. <laughs>